a visual impairment should never stop you from doing anything. I'm Jason Romero, and uh, I'm legally blind. I have retinitis pigmentosa, and I like to run. I have ran for Team USA as a Paralympian. Uh, I've completed 20 races of 100 miles or longer, including uh, Badwater, Spartathlon, Leadville, things like that. And I actually ran across America, uh, averaging 51 miles a day about three years ago. Leadville's the hometown 100 miler. Uh, it's one of the oldest 100 milers in the US. It's an out and back course. You go out 50 miles and you come back and there's three major climbs. The biggest climb is from mile 40 to 50. Then you turn right around and do it in reverse from 50 to 60. That's called the double crossing of Hope Pass. And my eyesight has deteriorated a lot since uh, those past times. So uh, I'm trying to push myself and do something that would be exceptional. What I do when I'm running trails is I to use trekking poles. So I use black diamond Z poles, carbon fiber, and basically I'll run 100 miles with trekking poles, but they give me an extra point of balance. So as I catch a toe or I'm about to trip, I have a chance not to go down and put a pole plant. Do you want chips? Just give me my water bottle. Water bottle? Just water bottle, muffin, and I'm going. I started training for this race probably in January. I believe in super high mileage training, so long, slow distance. See, by starting May, I ran a 50 mile training run every two weeks. Uh, you just run, just run. I'm always a goofy guy, so I'm always like, uh, I'm expressing these things wild, but I am scared uh, out of my mind. I'm nervous about my mental state because that's really been the crippling factor in the past. Uh, I run really strong through the day, but once it gets to nighttime, a uh, symptom of my eye, eye condition is severe night blindness. I really don't see anything. I trip a lot, fall a lot, run into trees, people, and it really gets demoralizing. Uh, the other thing that I use uh, when it gets to be nighttime is a extremely high powered headlamp and I have a guide during the nighttime and a lot of times during the day too I'll key on a runner and I see through like a little tunnel like this so what I do is I look at their feet I can see about five feet ahead of me for whatever detail there is so like a rock a tree root or where the trails going but basically I just got five feet ahead of me to be able to tell so I got to react pretty quickly and when I have my guide I use them also to give me auditory call outs I process that you know step by step as I'm going it's just it takes a lot of energy and it can be exhausting over 100 miles. You just have to be creative enough and inventive enough to make accommodations that are going to help you to be successful. Right about the 26 hour mark, congratulations, finishing up the Leadville Trail 100, Jason Romero out of Denver.